Hey guys, it's Paula. Wow, I feel like I haven't done a sit down video like this with my actual camera in so freaking long. Definitely not since I moved because this is a whole new background. In today's video, I am going to be talking about some of my favorite products that have helped my oily skin. If you guys didn't know, I feel like I mention it all the time, but I have such oily skin. It's acne prone. It's bad. It's just, I don't have nice skin, but I try to pretend that I do by using the right products and the right makeup. I'm also really excited to do this video because I've been doing vlogs for so long and like I've just kind of fallen off making beauty videos and stuff like that for my channel. So here we are. I just want to talk about some makeup. Let's hang out. And if you have oily skin, hopefully you can get some good recommendations from this video. If you don't have oily skin and you're just watching this for the sake of watching me, thank you. I appreciate you. So without further ado, let's hop into things. In my opinion, the main thing that can help oily skin is starting with a good primer because that is your base and whatever you put on top relies on that primer to either fill in your pores or just mattify your whole face. So I have found three primers that I've been absolutely loving. The first I mentioned in a vlog a little bit ago, but in case you haven't seen that, I will talk about it again. It is the NYX Pore Filler and it is freaking incredible. I just bought this on a whim in Target. Like, I needed a new primer and I saw pore filler and I'm like, that sounds like something I need. I will say the consistency of this is super strange. You pour some out and it's like, you can't really put it between your fingers. It kind of like crumbles and it's like powdery. It's super bizarre. But the second you put it on your skin, you can totally see your pores getting filled in. I focus it right here and on my nose because that's where my pores are absolutely huge. <laughs> I just hate it. But when I use this, it totally helps. And then when I put my foundation on top of it, it's just like bam, wow, I have nice skin again, how did this happen? It doesn't necessarily keep me matte throughout the day, it's kind of hard for me to stay matte in general, but my makeup just looks nice on top of it, so that's why I really like using this. I will say in terms of pore filling primers too, I do like the Benefit Porefessional. I don't have one right now, so I don't actually have it to show you, but I do really enjoy that as well. Just that one is, of course, a high-end primer, whereas this was maybe 10 bucks at Target. The next two I had to talk about are little samples because I got them in my subscription boxes, so I'm actually not sure the price of the full size. I'm sure when I use these up, I may want to go out and purchase that, but I will have everything linked down below. The first one I've been loving is the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Mattifying Primer. This is awesome. I honestly have never tried anything from Elizabeth Mott, haven't even heard about it, but the second I started using this, I knew I was obsessed. This one is more creamy, so you can actually pour some out, rub it between your fingers, and then put it all over your face, and it instantly mattifies you. It's wild, you guys. <laughs> it's very smoothing as well, so you know when you're done applying it, your foundation is gonna go on so smooth. Whereas the pore filler I mainly use to like fill my pores when they look like kind of big that day, this one I love to absolutely just mattify my entire face and get me ready to put my makeup on. And then probably the least mattifying of all of these, but one that I still really enjoy, is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. So it doesn't necessarily mattify me, but I feel like it kind of does. Um, the second that I put it on, it feels a little bit tacky, which is nice. Like it comes out creamy from the tube, so it's really easy to apply. It feels like a moisturizer, but then as you start to rub it in, it gets a little tacky, so you know your foundation's gonna like stick to it and actually make your makeup stay all day. And this guy has coconut water in it, and I have found whenever I use products with coconut milk or coconut water in them, it really helps my skin. I don't know why that is, but I think coconut is my secret weapon, so I really enjoy this. I'm gonna throw a bonus product in here. This is an eyeshadow primer, and this is from Milani. It is just their eyeshadow primer. You can get it super cheap at the drugstore. I've had this for freaking ever, and I still have so much left, so it lasts you a very long time, and I love using this just to keep my eyeshadow in place if I'm going to do kind of a more complicated <laughs> eyeshadow look and I don't want it to crease throughout the day. This is my friend. Normally, my eyeshadow creases so easily, but I want to make sure to use a primer beforehand, and this does the trick every time. And then, of course, once you're done with your primer and your foundation and all of that, the most important step to mattifying your face is 
pressed powder. This is not, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. This is loose powder. This is not pressed powder. <laughs> I am pretty new to the loose powder world. I would always buy the compacts with pressed powder, like I said earlier, and I would put that on my face and I'm like, okay, cool. But honestly, loose translucent powder is your best friend if you are an oily gal because it is simply life-changing. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like pressed powder makes you look super cakey because you're like digging your brush in there and then putting it on your face, but loose translucent powder is just more airy and you just puff it on your face and when I do it, it like goes everywhere, but then I just clean it up. But it erases my pores, makes me super matte, and it keeps me that way for a majority of the day, which is nice because I have like nine hour work days. So I will actually talk about the thing that I'm holding right now. It is from the brand number seven, and it is just their translucent perfect light loose powder. Again, I tried this on a whim in Target one day. I needed a new loose powder. Um, I used, what, I think one from Maybelline and one from NYX, and they were actually like white powders, but I found they had a lot of flashback in photos, and I was like, not about it. But this guy, if you can tell, it's like skin tinted, it's the color of my skin, so it doesn't look super white when you put it on, and it doesn't flash back in photos, which is awesome. It is just the perfect color and the perfect powder. I will say it's a little messy when you're traveling because it like jumbles everywhere and then all the powder comes out, but if you're not traveling, I just tip it over, do like a couple taps in the lid, and then use a big fluffy brush and put it everywhere, and I freaking love it. And those are all of my products. So I just wanted to do a little short and sweet video about my favorite products to keep you oil-free throughout the day, if that's possible, I mean. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up, leave some comments, and subscribe. I will be back with more sit-down, actual YouTube videos. I love vlogging, and I know you guys love the vlogs too, but this is fun for me as well. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!